Hey everybody, it's Nerf Boy Productions here. Today I'm gonna to be giving you guys a full unboxing and review of the Nerf and Strike Elite XD Retaliator. So this is the new version of the Retaliator. It's got the white paint scheme with the blue stripes rather than the, I don't know what it was before, just blue with white stripes, really. They inverted the colors. And uh, I personally like the old color scheme better, but uh, the real question behind this is to see if it actually has any difference whatsoever or if Nerf has just rehashed it with a new color scheme and said, look, it's a new blaster when it's really not. So um, that's basically it, uh, the deal behind this blaster. And also it advertises on the box that it shoots up to 90 feet, which we know to be wrong uh, as we've looked at other blasters. It is going to achieve, you know, those elite distances, but we want to see if this one will get 90 feet. Okay, so let's take a look at the box. You can see here we've got a uh, the Nerf logo picture of the guy, uh, the 90 foot advertisements. On the back, a diagram of the blaster with all the features and functions you get with the Retaliator. Um, you know, all the different combinations you can do. Here you have your uh, dart distance elite dart performance chart. So it'll say that 69% of your darts are gonna go 85 to 98 feet, and 31% of them are gonna go below 85 feet, or 25 meters, depending on your system. So uh, that's basically it, nothing too much on the box you can see there, um, but that is it for the box. Okay, so now let's open this guy up. Um, there's just a piece of tape here on the side. Okay, and we will Take this guy out. Okay, so the box is empty now, and uh, we are left with this. Okay, so you get 12 darts with your retaliator, uh, hence the 12 dart clip you get with it. Okay. You get uh, the main blaster itself, obviously. The matching barrel, matching stock, and matching assault grip. And they are all the same color scheme. I'm gonna put them all together and then show you guys an up close shot of what it looks like all together. All right, so here's your retaliator put together, uh, assembled like this. You have your stock and you can, you can just kind of see it all there. That's the one side. And then of course the other side without less of the paint on there. The front, the back. Okay, so that's kind of what it looks like. Now let's go over the features of this blaster. It's your standard retaliator. If you've never seen one, real quick, two tactical rails on the top, one on the bottom. Generally, your assault grip goes there. The Elite Retaliators come with 12 dart clips. They're priming action like so. Um, they have the removable stock, so you can put on other stocks as well as barrels clip system, which is awesome, ambidextrous release for your clip, um, single fire, no slam fire, built-in flip-up sight in the front barrel, and that is about it. Cock it back and you have a jam door here in case there's any jams. Okay, that's pretty much it. And that's a basic standard retaliator. Okay, and I also forgot to mention that you do get your um, instruction manual with your retaliator. If you don't know how to operate one, you got that. And now we have our 12 darts. So I'm gonna load up the retaliator and then we will take some shots and see if it's actually getting at 90 feet. An elite blaster getting 75 feet alone is, uh, is pretty cool. If you can get that flat, that's, that's kind of awesome. But obviously you're not gonna get 90 feet flat. That's definitely angled. So we're gonna do six of these shots flat, six of them angled. And then we'll see, um, well, I guess we'll see what the deal is. If it's getting 75 feet flat, that's pretty cool stock out of the box. And that's what I'm hoping for when we do this test. Okay, so we're gonna be shooting down range that way. Uh, we have the, the blaster here. Okay, so it is primed and ready to go. Let's just take a flat shot. Okay, let's do another. Well, these aren't doing as well as I'd hoped. I'm gonna hold this a little higher so you won't be able to see it, but. Okay, that's not too great. Now I'm gonna do some angled shots. Okay, that one did much better.
All right, so I'm gonna show you guys where all those went because it's kind of cool. I don't know if the blaster had to be shot a couple of times to actually like be, uh, I don't know, warmed up and working, but. All the first shots landed here. So you can see there's a hole there. There's a hole there. And of course you can't see the darts, but you can see where they've uh, entered. But then there's also one there. They're just kind of dash marks from the, there's one right there. There's another. So you can see that these, this is about, oh, it's really blurry. Sorry about that. This is about, hmm, this is, I don't know what this is. This is like, 30 feet away, maybe 35, 40. But then all the angled shots went up here in the snowbank, all up at the top. And that's like 50 feet away. So um, they're getting maybe 50, 60 feet actually. So that's pretty cool. That's getting 60 feet angled, but definitely not 90. Okay, so with this range test, we what we figured out was that uh, it actually does go 60 feet, but as cool as that is, that is a standard retaliator. They're getting about 60 feet angled, so this is the exact same thing. Um, nothing special here, it's just a repaint. Personally, I like the old style of the retaliator better, but uh, it's your call. Basically, just know from this review, it is the exact same as a retaliator. If you already have one and you don't really care about the color scheme, you're fine. This isn't one that you need to say, Mom, I need the new blaster. It's, it's a new one. It's a new one. It's the exact same thing. It's not a new one. And there you have it, folks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think about this blaster in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video, please remember to hit that thumbs up button because it really, really helps out. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe because I have new videos every Saturday. And I realized that this video was kind of in the middle of the week, which is really cool that it's the first one I haven't done on a Saturday um, because I had extra time because of exam break. If you guys saw my Flip Fury video, I have extra time up here. So I was, managed, I was able to get this video out to you guys, so I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, this was Nerf Boy Productions, signing off.